Hello friends, I am Dr. Deep Goyal. I am Director and Head of Department of Surgical Gastro-Oncology, Minimal Access and Bariatric Surgery at BLK Super Specialty Hospital, New Delhi. Today we will be talking about cancer of the stomach. Cancer of the stomach as we know is a leading cause of death around the world. It is in fact said to be third largest cause of death around the world and stomach cancer is fifth commonest cancer around the world. Let us look at why does cancer of the stomach happen? What are the causes? Smoking is one of the very important causes. Infection of the stomach by a bacteria called H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori is one of the very important causes which has come out recently in light. Alcohol, obesity, pickles, processed food, smoked food, these are some of the common causes of cancer of the stomach. This cancer is very common in patients who are above the age of 50 years. But in the recent past, we have seen this cancer in younger population also. I have personally seen cancer of the stomach in a patient of 19 years old. All this possibly is happening because of urbanization and bad eating habits, eating fast food, eating processed food, eating adulterated food increase incidence of obesity. Let us see the symptoms. How does the patient present? The commonest symptom is burning in the upper abdomen or the chest or which we call as a heartburn, feeling of nausea, vomiting in the later stages, blood in the vomiting, loss of weight, loss of appetite. These are some of the common symptoms which will happen if the cancer is stuck to stomach only. If the cancer goes beyond stomach and involves other organs, there can be blood in the sputum while you cough. That is yellow discoloration of eye if the tumor goes to liver. These are some of the common symptoms patient can present with. Now let us look at how can we diagnose this cancer. Whenever you have these kind of symptoms, I think it is very important for you to go to your general physician and he will after examining you, will refer you to your gastroenterologist or gastrointestinal surgeon. The commonest test which we do to diagnose these kind of cancer is endoscopy. Endoscopy is putting a pipe through your mouth and seeing inside the stomach. By endoscopy, not only can we see and visualize the tumor, but also we can take a biopsy from inside, which can prove the diagnosis. Once we have proven that there is a cancer in the stomach, the next step is to how do we diagnose the staging of a disease because all the treatment will depend upon the staging of the disease. CT scan, PET scan, endoscopic ultrasound, these are some of the tests which we do to diagnose the staging of the disease. It is often said that most of the cancers can be treated effectively if they are diagnosed early and cancer of the stomach is not an exception to this rule. So our focus and our aim is to diagnose this cancer early. If we diagnose this cancer in stage 1 or stage 2, that means the cancer is limited to only inner lining and the middle lining of the stomach, then surgery remains the main part of the treatment. We remove that much portion of the stomach which is involving the tumor and rejoin with the intestine, which is called reconstruction. If the tumor is big or the tumor is in the upper part of the stomach, then the whole stomach is removed and small intestine is joined with the food pipe to maintain the continuity. If the stage of the cancer is stage 3 and stage 4, then sometimes we need to give chemotherapy before surgery. What chemotherapy does, it will shrink the tumor, reduce the size of the tumor and make it amenable to surgery. After chemotherapy, we can do a repeat CT scan to find out whether chemotherapy has made any difference to the size of the tumor and then if yes, then we need to do the surgery. After doing the surgery, the whole specimen, the part which we have removed is being sent for histopathology and immunohistochemistry. These are special tests which are done on the specimen which we have removed and depending upon what is the finding of these tests, we may need to give you chemotherapy further or do radiation therapy. 
in nutshell for stomach cancer there are three kinds of treatment available surgery chemotherapy and radiotherapy depending upon the stage depending upon the site all three might need to be given to the patient or one of them or two of them need to be given to the patient that particularly depends upon the stage type and the site of the tumor once we have treated the cancer successfully then what is important is to have a regular follow up with your doctor initially every 3 months then every 6 months and then yearly follow up is required in follow up normally certain blood tests x ray chest ultrasound ct scan endoscopy in combinations are normally used friends let us join hands in fight against cancer i don't think anyone can fight alone neither can you fight alone nor can medical fraternity fight alone it has to be a joint effort by creating awareness and by going to doctor if you have any symptoms thank you very much blk super speciality hospital a passion for healing